How to solve vector problems using your TI-36X Pro calculator. We head over to prepfe.com where we can find different FE practice problems, including vector problems. I went ahead and put a link to prepfe in the video description. In this problem, we need to find a plane that is perpendicular to the plane formed by the two vectors. You can find that perpendicular plane by taking the cross product between vectors A and B. So, to do the cross product in your calculator, we first got to enter the two vectors. We go to second, vector, then we go to edit, then hit enter. This vector has three dimensions, so we select three for i, j, and k. Enter the first vector, one, negative two, and three. We do second mode to exit the screen. Now we need to enter the second vector. We go to second, vector, then go to edit, select three dimensions, and that'll be negative four, five, and zero. We do second mode to exit the screen. Now that we got all the vectors in the calculator, we can use the cross product function. Go to second, vector, math, select cross product. Now, call back the vectors that we just created. Go to second vector, select the first vector, enter. Before we can input the second vector, we need to put a comma. To put a comma, go to second comma. Now, call back the last vector. Second vector, close parentheses, hit enter. And that's our final answer. If we check our answer against PrepFE, not only do we see that it's the correct answer, but we also see how many steps we're saving by not having to do this all by hand. Another vector problem you can see on the FE is one that is asking you to calculate the dot product between two vectors. In this problem, we have the same two vectors as the previous problem, except we now need to calculate the dot product instead of the cross product. We can use the calculator's dot product function by going to second, vector, then go to math, select dot product. Now, call back the vectors that we created in the past. Go to second, vector, select the first one, type in a comma by going to second, comma, Call back the second vector by doing second vector, scroll down, select the second vector, hit enter. Close parentheses, then hit enter again. Now we check our answer against PrepFE and we see that it's correct. And that's it for this video. Give it a thumbs up if you found it useful and subscribe to this channel if you want to see more videos about the FE exam. And remember to check out prepfe.com if you want to see more FE exam prep.